every day you and your side, you come out and say that the other side is not a balanced approach. And then they come out, the Republicans come out, and they are saying that the Dems plan is not a balanced approach. Are you guys just incompetent or what? I mean, if you can't do this, if you can't do what the American people pay you to do, why don't you just step aside and put somebody in there that actually can get a deal done? If, you, if Speaker Boehner would allow the House of Representatives to vote on the bill that we sent over, there will be 218 votes on the floor of the House of Representatives to pass it. He's the one holding back the next part of this puzzle piece. We are prepared. We were prepared for a $4 trillion deal. We're prepared to move forward, but you can't so do it by yourself. So how come you're not moving forward? What's, what, then what's the problem? How come you, because the American people we are did. so the, tired the next, of them, and they are really tired of the, of the lawmakers thinking that the American I, I, people are stupid. You can't the, keep coming on the show every day saying the same thing. It's not a balanced approach. I believe, believe me, we're as frustrated as you are, but we're not going to be intimidated and give up our, our protection of middle-income families during this period let, of time. Let, let me ask you. What, very let me, clearly let, that we're prepared for a full package. We've been prepared six months ago, a year ago. But Speaker Baynard has to show some leadership. Let me ask you. Let me ask you one final question, sir, because we we have to figure that the threshold we're talking about is going to eventually move. The president says it should be 400,000. The Republicans say it should be one million. What are you prepared to do above 400,000 that can get us closer to rising above and finding agreement, common ground? We need $1.2 trillion of real revenue that we can count on to fill the gap. That is well, the minimum amount. Out, out you the, can the get $1.2 trillion by changing the tax code. That means eliminating uh, loopholes. Are you prepared to vote to eliminate the loophole of charitable deductions? Are you prepared no. to put that on the table? No. No. I'm not, Are you prepared I, I don't to think, put on the table the mortgage deduction? Will you look, put on the table the mortgage deduction? Yes or no? I am not going to make a decision now, in the next couple of days. Are you prepared no. to take away the carried interest loophole? Are you prepared to take away the carried interest loophole? Yes are or no? Are you interested in me responding? Because you're, you're talking like, about no, what you're not. Two trillion I said, dollars in revenue, I said, but all you said you're is not no. prepared to put anything on the table. People are not stupid. I know they're not, and they expect the Congress to act in the right way. I'm not going to vote t t today on changing a tax code provision without knowing the impact of it. We're, we're now a few days away from Christmas. The easiest way to get the revenues is to get the rates from the higher income uh, tax That's all you want to do. That's it. That's no, your, it's, it's your not way all we want to do. We Raise reform. the rates we... on the rich. No other way. Your way or the highway. Senator. That's, it. That's where we are. The next Thank time, you, I'll just... Senator, <laughs> Next time, it, let it, me it, answer the questions. It'd be very nice if oh, you will be You've answered, you've answered quite you. clearly. Thank Senator you. Cardin, we thank you for joining us, and uh, we will catch up with you again, uh, I am certain, uh, sometime soon. I don't know. You know, Scott, it's frustrating because here we are with 11 days left in the year. They've had 13 months to do this, and now we're all... And, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, look, the, fo the, the people on the floor have been watching the show. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> because what's happened in this entire argument, day after day after day, is that the markets are the ones that have been held exactly. hostage. It's We're the all people's being held hostage it's, by, by it, these guys that are in Congress. It's the people's money. The people sitting at home trying right. to figure out what the heck to do in the stock market as we're approaching the end of the year, and what a pretty good year it has been, right, for yeah, stocks, for yeah, the people well, who trade you, thank stocks. Thank you, Federal Reserve and Ben Bernanke. Right. But they're trying to figure out what to do now as, as they watch interviews like we just had uh, and throw their arms up in the air. Absolutely. All right, let's uh, take a short break. That was an exciting beginning of the show, Scott.